breaking right now. A Cincinnati woman is in jail tonight, accused of driving the wrong way on I-71, smashing into another driver, killing him. That driver was just trying to get home from work. Now police want to know why that woman was on the wrong side of the highway. This crash happened just before the Dana Avenue exit. Nine on your sides, TJ Parker is live with new information about what caused this crash. TJ? Well, Carolyn Craig, police believe drugs and alcohols, uh, alcohol are possible factors in this crash that happened here on I-71 between the Dana Road and Taft exits. Police are blaming 22-year-old Taryn Chin in this crash. Uh, it was a pretty spectacular crash. Cincinnati police describe a horrifying scene on I-71. They say Taryn Chin was driving north in the southbound lanes when she hit 47-year-old Jose Arenas head on. Two cars traveling 55 miles an hour and they hit head on uh, on the interstate. It's going to be a spectacular crash because of, of the, the speeds and the force and, and the damage is going to reflect that. Cincinnati Police Lieutenant Bruce Hoffbauer says Arenas died at the scene. Chin only had minor injuries. He says both were wearing their seatbelts. It might be something that came on, the, on Mr. Arenas so quick uh, that he wasn't able to uh, respond to it. He says Arenas was obeying traffic laws and was just on his way home. Uh, here you have a, an individual on his way home from work, uh, Mr. Arenas on his way home from work, and um, he uh, has this accident on 71, and it appears he's doing everything right, and so a terrible accident happened. Police arrested Chin. Hoffbauer says she had a blood alcohol level of 0.12. Police are trying to figure out if she had any drugs in her system as well. They're also trying to determine what Chin was doing on the road at 3 in the morning. We're not sure where she was prior to the crash or how she got on 71 uh, in the wrong direction. Chin is charged with aggravated vehicular homicide and vehicular homicide. She's at the Hamilton County Justice Center. Now, right now, police are reviewing traffic cameras and 911 calls, trying to pinpoint where Chin got on the interstate. Coming up tonight on 9 on your side at 6, Ashley Zilka spoke with his co workers who knew him well. We're live along I 71. I'm TJ Parker, 9 on your side.